Okay, this is just a review of the work that we've done uh, today about tetrachords and why we talk about major scales in terms of tetrachords. Okay, so if you want to review what we've done today, uh, the blank versions of the worksheets are posted on Blackboard under today's date on the dashboard section. Uh, part of what we did today was this part of worksheet, so I'll, I'll take a look at this with you together. And also, this is part one, that's for the sharp keys, and then also do a little bit of the flat keys, just to remind you why we're, we're talking about this. First, i um, asking you to, on the blank staff below, uh, draw the correct clef. So uh, I'm saying that this is a C, so the only clef that has this as a C is a bass clef. So I'm going to draw a bass clef here. Next, I'm going to write the either W or H to denote the intervals of the major scale. Remember that the major scale is made up of two tetrachords, each one with a pattern of whole, whole, half. Okay, whole, whole, half. And these two tetrachords, again, these four notes, okay, they're connected together by another whole step. Next, I'm going to find the notes of the C major scale on the keyboard. Um, by uh, completing uh, the scale, okay? So here's my keyboard. And as you might recall, C major is, um, is the simplest one because it's actually just all the white keys of the piano keyboard. And this pattern actually tells you that um, it's actually the, the pattern for the major scale is whole, whole, half. Notice that there's a half step between E and F. And then whole, 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 half. The B, between B and C is another half step. Okay, so because this whole pattern repeats. So if you ever forget this pattern, okay, always just look at the keyboard to remind you that, uh, look at C major. It's, it's going to give you whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay. The two tetrachords in this case would be C, D, E, F, and then G, A, B, C. Okay. So I'm just going to write this down here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay. Next, uh, find and play the notes of the C major uh, key, uh, scale on the keyboard and just listen to the way it sounds. Next, okay, I'm going to take a look at the next part here. Um, what I'd like you to do here is take a look at the the second tetrachord. I'm going to put it back in the camera. Okay, the second tetrachord of the C major scale starts with G. Okay, and to find the next uh, major scale for this um, for this pattern, okay, we're going to start with this tetrachord, G A B C. So the next step, okay, uh, is that I'm going to write starting with the tetrachord, second tetrachord of the scale above, I'm going to rewrite these notes as the first four notes of a new major scale. I'm going to add the correct clef. Okay, so the notes were G, A, B, C. I'm going to write G, A, B, C. I'm also going to add the clef. Uh, the clef changed. This is a G, so this is actually in treble clef. I'm just going to write a treble clef here. Okay. Now, again, if you want to remind yourself, this is the pattern, whole, whole, half, connected to the second tetrachord with another whole step and then whole, whole, half, okay? The next uh, thing I need to do is complete the rest of the scale, and that comes with trying to um, determine what, uh, what the notes are that are gonna be here. Uh, as we've done before, the first thing to do is just to write down all the note names in letter. Uh, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, this is a G. Okay, and then I'm also just going to write down uh, the notes as well. Okay, and I know that these four notes are done. Let's go ahead and put a, put a check mark there. Okay, so now I'm going to evaluate starting here. From C to D, I need a whole step. From C to D is indeed a whole step, so this is done. No changes needed. From D to E is a whole step, uh, or we need a whole step. And from D to E, again, indeed, it is a whole step, so also no change needed. From E to F, we need a whole step. E to F, but E to F is a half step. So in order to make this a whole step, I can't change the E because I already have a check mark here, okay? So I need to raise the F to F sharp. And then that makes E to F a whole step, by raising the F to F sharp, E to F sharp. 
Finally, from F sharp to G, we need a half step, and from F sharp to G, indeed, it's a half step, so that's done. Okay, so you can see that by starting with the second tetrachord of the C major scale and having that as the first tetrachord and extending it using the same pattern, we now add it one sharp. Okay. And if we repeat this process uh, for the next, next, um, next iteration, starting with D, the second tetrachord here, you'll notice that we'll add another sharp, okay, and so forth and so on until we have seven sharps. Right? And so that's, that's how uh, the scales are related to the tetrachord.